Welcome, to a new Impervium production. I present you the second episode from, How to Build, Step by Step, Your Own Blackout Drone. First, I will introduce you, to the right tools, that you need to prepare for this assignment. Because we will customize the electronic speed controllers, we will need a soldering iron, filler material or solder, a Fion, scissors, magnifier, cutter and, a lot of patience for a good result. I prefer to add some soldering resin to the filaments. It really helps the solder, flow when tinning the wires. The compounds are, bullet connectors of 3.5 mm, wire mesh guard of 3 mm, heat shrink tube of 4 mm and of 25 mm. And of course, the electronic speed controller. Pay attention on how I use the golden bullet connectors because they come in pairs of male, female. A very good tip. Avoid to overheat the circuit when you heat the heat shrink. The compounds can fail. ZTW Spider Octo Escapes features a very smooth, yet linear throttle response, without sacrificing a rapid, crisp, response to any throttle input. Super fast refresh rate, up to 600Hz make these a very smooth controller. That is to say support PWM input rates up to 600Hz for great response on your quadcopter. Fashion design and high quality with best performance. Output is Octosonobec. They come with SOM and K code, no need to flash them. Start by cutting the original cover of the electronic speed controller. Have patience and avoid touching the board with the cutter. It's an sensible circuit. That's why, comes in special anti-static bags. So, don't trial the bags because you will reuse them for storing electronic compounds, at least for a while. Next step. Now, cut the wires at a size you are comfortable with. I choose to cut them short, 7 mm. OK. Take down the isolation from the wires, for a clean soldering. You should also, twist the wires for a better catch. In the meanwhile, I want to make myself clear that all the technique and technology presented on my videos, are used and will be used for Impervium channel also for further propose.
prepared for soldering? Good. I was not. I don't use special catching systems and illumination. Because it's the first time for me, I did it with what I had at the hand. Good looking result, till now.
Now remove the plastic connector from the end of the long wires. We will insert them in heat shrink and wire mesh for protection.
This is the final result. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to leave a comment, like and subscribe for more awesome content. Thank you for watching.